So I want to do a quick little video to kind of give you a guide through what I dubbed as my crafting room when we first moved into this house. I do various things such as making candles, lip balms, body washes, that kind of thing. I'd hoped to eventually be able to sell on Etsy so I had made this little shipping station. A lot of stuff has just kind of been thrown everywhere. I actually came down here earlier to look for something specific that Alex needed and really I have no idea where it's at. Cause like I said, you can see that a lot of stuff has not been unpacked. One of the first things that I definitely want to do is paint the walls. It's an ugly shade of brown. And from the smell of this room, it almost smells like the previous owner painted this room not long before he moved out. I kind of wish he had just left it and I could have painted it whatever color I wanted to. The wall is made of OSB boards and as you can see there are a lot of imperfections and the OSB board as you know has that texture on it so it's not going to be a very smooth finish once it is painted and I'm wanting to make this room a lot lighter in color so I'm worried that the lighter color is really going to bring out the imperfections and make them a lot more visible which is why I'm thinking he may have went with the darker color. The only thing I can do at this point is just get some paint samples, put on some primer and see how it looks because I may wind up changing my mind once I see the color on the wall. Now I have Googled to see if there are any other options for walls with OSB and someone had mentioned getting plaster which is kind of like a sheetrock type thing and kind of smoothing it out a little bit Honestly, that's going to be a lot of work because I'm not really sure how many square feet are here, but with this being a little crafting room or grow room, whatever I decide to go direction wise with this, I just don't think I really want to put that much time into the walls. Another option that was thrown out was sheetrocking over the OSB. And probably going to nix that idea also because here on this wall we have a panel that covers our hot water heater and two AC returns one for upstairs and one for downstairs and so these would all have to be redone all the hinges all the latches all of the electrical outlets and switch plates would have to be re redone because they would no longer be flush they would kind of be recessed once sheet rot was put around them so at this point, I'm going to try the painting route and see how that does. As far as future plans go for setting things up, I think it would be super awesome to pretty much have cabinets lining this whole wall through here. Um, as far as these cabinets go, I'm not sure I'm going to keep these cabinets. I do want to keep the plumbing because I do think it's awesome to have a sink down here at the previous house. I had to go outside of our basement upstairs to wash and rinse anything out when I did stuff. So it's great to have a sink now available right here. However, I'm really disappointed to see that there is no shelving system at all in these cabinets. So it's pretty much just for show and just a counter, so to speak. I would like to actually have cabinets that would line this entire wall and be able to have it to where I could use it for workspace. And then up here, I think it'd be awesome to have some storage cabinets up here along the top part with a sliding floor ladder. Now I say that, I think it would be awesome and cool, but it may not be necessary. I just think it'd be pretty neat to have like a ladder on a rail so you can slide it back and forth to get to the stuff that you need because I'm super short and I'm not gonna be able to reach cabinets up there. And to me, having this space up here and just not doing anything with it is just wasting dead space to me. There are so many places for storage in here that I would like to utilize. But the first thing I really need to do is kind of go through and organize some stuff in this room, go through these boxes and see what I've got. Some of the stuff is for sale and I need to get it posted on eBay or just toss it in a Goodwill bin because I just could not let it go when we moved. Go through and sort these boxes depending on what it is. I have a whole box right here of nothing but ribbon 
that I'm not going to be able to use right now because there's no way I'm going to dig through this giant box to make a bow. I also need to figure out, like I said, what direction I really want to take this room. I love making candles and lip balms, body washes and stuff like that. But my passion is really gardening. So I kind of feel like I'm wasting time and space on some of this stuff. While I would love to sell this stuff on Etsy and turn it into like a second side business of ours, I just don't think it's going to be worth it time wise for me. However, the gardening thing is a really huge passion of mine. So this might wind up being a partial craft room slash grow room because the plant thing is really what I would love to do in the future. So if you guys would like to see what I wind up doing in this room, make sure you subscribe below and I will keep you guys posted and thank you for watching.